welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's so great to have you guys here. Welcome to my new beauty room slash setup slash office. Today's video is going to be a review slash tutorial on the Araceli Beauty Jalisco Eye Kit. And first of all, I'm absolutely in love with the packaging. It's I feel so connected with it because it has to do with Mexico. My family is from, from Mexico, Jalisco especially. My grandpa's from there. And this, I don't know, this just looks so beautiful. It's all the colors that I love. Super warm tone. I love the name. I love the concept. This eye kit specifically comes with two brushes. One super fluffy. This is called Grande Blending Brush. And this is Chiquita Blending Brush, which is a more uh, flat, fluffy brush. And then there is two eyeliners. One pencil eyeliner and one liquid eyeliner, which we will be using today. The wonderful palette inspired by Jalisco itself. Just, I'm in love with the colors of this palette. I think it looks beautiful. I think today I'm gonna go into these ones right here since it's like December, very holiday, red, and you know, something a little different. And today we'll be trying on these lashes called Letty. It says Letty La Sofisticada. I'm gonna read the description back here. It says, just like my sisters, each pair of Araceli Beauty 3D faux meek lashes have a personality of their own. Faux meek, that's the best. The thin cotton band makes application easy and wears so comfortably. Incredibly soft and lightweight, these lashes are the key to mesmerizing ojos tapatios. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm going to do a couple swatches for you guys of the palette before I put it on my eye. So I'm going to go into Sombrero. Ooh, and immediately I feel it's so creamy, so pigmented. But look at that color. Can you see it? We're going to go into Amor. Amor, Amor, Amor. So this is Amor. It has like some orange, red undertones. Copper, I would say. Super pigmented and creamy. This is Corazón. Ooh, that's beautiful. That is a matte burgundy. Very pretty, very creamy. This is cafe. Cafecito. Ooh, look at that. That is like a dark brown, like the color of my hair. That is very pigmented. I love it. Let's get started and let's get these colors on my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Grande Blending Brush and go into Sombrero. For my transition shade, transition shade. It's super pigmented, and this blending brush is making it so easy to blend these beautiful colors out. This beautiful color out, super soft, and I'm not even using like a heavy hand, which you should never use a heavy hand because then you're just applying more pressure and then you're not blending out the color. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that up to my eyebrow a bit. I'm gonna do the same on this eye. Just putting sombrero in my crease as my transition, just to get everything started and get a good base on there. Now that sombrero is in my crease, I'm gonna go ahead and go into Corazón with the same blending brush. This is, again, Grande Blending Brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it right below my crease because I want this to be, um, I want this to be the main color along with Amor. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's really pretty. Right, this is Chiquita blending brush because I don't want it to go fluff over all of the sombrero shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and just detail it right in here into my crease without having to go all the way up here. This is a beautiful burgundy purple shade. I'm obsessed with it right now. I'm gonna grab more of Corazón and pat it in just to give it that maximum color and pigmentation that it has back with the grande blending brush i'm going to go into sombrero 
and just go over that burgundy in my crease so that there's no harsh lines. And I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. Okay, you guys, now with a Morphe 167, this is a flat, um, I would say, kind of like concealer brush, just more compact. Um, I'm going to go into Amor, and I'm going to place that in the center of my lid. Gorgeous. I'm loving how this is turning out. It's kind of going into like a halo eye without even wanting to. And I'm telling you, these shades are so pigmented and pretty. Like, I don't think I need to put any more, but because I just like to add extra, I'm going to add extra. Parter. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Just putting it in the center of my lid. Okay, so now that Amor is in the center of my lid, I'm absolutely loving how it's looking. I'm going to grab the Chiquita brush again, go into Corazón, and just tap around that color just for some seamless blending on both sides of where I put Amor. I'm going to go ahead and use a Bella NG335 brush, and I'm going to do exactly... Ooh, I'm gonna do exactly what I did on my top eye to the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and go into sombrero. And just place that in my eye so that there's like a nice transition shade going on here. Okay, I'm gonna get corazón on to the brush. And I'm gonna just lightly blend that all in together. If you have like brown eyes like me, these colors are definitely gonna make your eyes a little lighter. Right now my eyes look kind of greenish, more lighter than the dark brown that they are. And I love it because I've always wondered like, blue or green eye. I'm going to go ahead and use Ojos Perfectos Gel Pencil Eyeliner. This is a smudge proof eyeliner and I'm going to go ahead and just put it in my waterline. Now with that same brush, I'm going to go ahead and go into Café and add that to add a little bit more definition and smoky eye. Right where I place the eyeliner, I'm going to just go ahead and put Gaffet right there too. Very close together. Now it's time for lashes. I'm going to go ahead and curl and put on mascara off camera and I'm going to show you guys how I put on my lashes. Hey guys, a trick that I forgot to mention while I was doing my eyes is what i get this question a lot on how to make my eye look more like a cat eye and i know i had like fallout and i had blended a lot right here and it looked more ovally in the beginning but i grab my beauty blender i like to use the bottom because that's where it has the more foundation and i squeeze it and i kind of just make that line myself like cleaning it up and making like just one simple line like that Going like that and making sure everything is clean and nice and all together. It's pretty simple. You can use the other side if it's easier since it's more pointy. Um, but for me, I'm kind of just used to like flipping it and going like that. Okay, you guys, back to lashes. Let the lashes. These are very beautiful, very voluminous, uh, long and wispy, the kind of lashes that I like. These are synthetic faux mink lashes, cruelty free, vegan. And I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my scissors. Well, first I'm gonna see if they fit me. 
And what I usually like to do, a trick that I learned, is having a mirror right here and grabbing my lashes by the end and kind of just looking down, not putting your head down, but looking down like this, directly down at the mirror and seeing if they fit. I think they fit me pretty good. And if they don't fit, then you go ahead and cut the part that um, you feel is too long or anything. And if it's bugging you here in the center and you don't wanna take the rest of your eyelash off, this is a trick that I also learned. <sighs> it's kind of dangerous. Always have a supervisor around you if you still don't know how to do it or if you're scared to do it, have someone around you to help you. I kind of just cut it like that when it's glued on and then it stops bugging me and my eye stops getting watery. But let's not poke our eyes here now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on these lashes. I'm gonna let these dry for like a good 30 seconds. What I like to do is always curl and put mascara on my eyelashes before I put that lash on just so that they blend easily and you guys don't see like my straight ass eyelashes. On the bottle it says about 30 seconds. I like to do until like at least a minute. I'm gonna do the same trick that I did in the beginning when I was measuring my eyelashes and have the mirror here and just go ahead and place it the closest to your lash line as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry before I start blinking. I'm gonna make sure, especially on my inner corners, I like to make sure that it's connected because that's where my eye always gets watery. Mm -hmm. My lashes always fall off. It's pretty simple and easy. You just gotta be really patient and keep trying it all the time. Trust me, it wasn't easy for me in the beginning. Okay, you guys, now that the lashes are on, I'm just putting some mascara on them just to make them a little more beautiful. <laughs> I love these lashes. Okay, the look is almost done. I'm putting a little bit more blush. I'm going to go back into the palette and with a small detail brush, I'm going to go into the Kila. And I will put that on my inner corner. And with a highlighter brush, I'm grabbing tequila and I'm gonna put it on the high point of my cheekbone. It's super pretty as a highlight. And I'll put tequila right here on my nose. Right here on my bridge of my nose. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely did. I'm definitely obsessed with this palette. I love it. I love the look I created. I loved the pigmentation, the creaminess, the fact that it's vegan, cruelty-free, beauty, compassion. This is my probably one of my favorite quotes I've ever seen on a packaging like this. The link to get the Jalisco eye kit will be in my description box below. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you guys love this look and you guys want more looks like this, go ahead and comment below. Give this a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.